National Associated Press college basketball writer Jim O'Connell joins us today. Jim's covered nearly 3,000 college basketball games and has been to every single Final Four since 1979. So Jim, how exactly has the media environment changed since the late 1970s? Well, it's it changed dramatically, and, and the biggest reason, obviously, is television uh, and the money that's come from television, the amount of money that, uh, that schools and conferences are able to earn. You know, the easiest thing in the world is to look at it as strictly from the perspective of men's football and Division One men's basketball and, and how things have changed there, but, you know, it's changed in a lot of other areas as well. So do you think, Jim, that it would be feasible to pay every single college athlete? Well, think of that number, 400000 We're not talking about paying just a bunch of guys from some teams and covering the uh, 116 Division One football teams and the 340-something Division One basketball teams. Even within there, there's inequality as well. But, you know, we're talking 400,000 athletes. And you're going to have to find a way to get these people money. And, and it's just, it, it, it's an impossible task to do it under the rules that are right now. Okay, now, how do you feel, Jim, about a system of free market labor rights for student-athletes? It, it's so easy to say something like, you know, labor rights and they deserve them. And okay, but it's not a normal labor situation. Uh, what do you do if, if an athlete decides to transfer? What do you do if an athlete decides to sit out a year? What do you, you know, there's so many things. It seems like that the more people you bring into this, the more complicated you're making it. So we can certainly agree this is a complicated issue. Where do you see it heading? It's almost what you need is to, to have one of those sit-downs where you get everybody in the room and, you know, you're locking the door and we're not leaving till we have a decent plan of this thing. And, and I don't know if even that would work because there's just so many different sides to this. There are, there are different sides on each side. You know, there are, there are people who want different reasons for athletes to get paid, and they're not even on the same page. All right, Jim. Thanks for being with us today. Okay, Jim.